Hello everyone and welcome. Today I gonna compare the Swiss Army knife from Victorinox to a um, much cheaper Chinese um, copy and um, we'll see uh, what the differences are. First we should um, compare the price. Now this one, the Swiss Army knife, cost me about 20 US dollars. Then the, the copy from China, only about 5. So this one is four times more expensive than this one. It comes in handy when your knife is not too heavy. So I'm gonna compare the weight now. First, the Chinese copy, which as you can see is made of steel completely. It comes, um, yeah, it weighs about 110 grams. Now the Swiss Army knife. The Swiss Army knife, as you can see, has some uh, plastic uh, covers. And it's quite a lot lighter. So this is an advantage of the Swiss Army knife. Now to the features. You can see the Swiss Army knife has two knives, a little one and a tall one while the uh, cheap copy just have one. As you can see the scissors from the Swiss Army knife is slightly bigger than the one on the on the cheap copy and it even has a return spring um, which um, got lost on this one uh, due um, bad quality. But there is an advantage though um, this Chinese uh, copy has a screwdriver which um, at least in this configuration over here the Swiss Army knife doesn't have and I think the screwdriver is a very useful feature. Now we're gonna test the build quality with um, the feature called bottle opener and flat scru screwdriver. Now when I push my finger on this screwdriver here you can see I can lift the knife instantly while over here when I push my finger on you can see that so it's moving around and um, this is very poor build quality as you can see the saw is quite identical to each other but if I want to close um, the saw on this one, you can see I can do it with one hand and look at it, it snaps, it actually doesn't snap, it's just pulling it down. While on the Swiss Army knife, I have a hard time to actually close it with one hand. It's very difficult and look how it snaps. Um, well, on the one side, um, it's very nice that you have a lot of, you need to apply a lot of pressure to close the uh, items. But on the other side, it's also dangerous. As you can see, both of the knives have this little, um, like, ring to attach it to a key ring or to something else. But only the Swiss Army knife has those two little um, extra applications. You can see one on this side and one on the other side. Now this one, the tweezers. It's nice if you are in the in the mountains and there is a tick you need to remove. And this one is a toothpick. Last but not least, I want to show you the covers. This cover is made out of metal, which I think looks great. But as you can see, there are some scratches and damages in, in already, although I just used it in uh, around the apartment and in, and in the uh, cellar. Now this one is actually new. I didn't use it really um, so it still looks great 
um, you might think that the plastic will not um, last as long as the metal and I think this is true but um, should the plastic go bad go bad you can buy replacement uh, from Victorinox of Switzerland and um, they will put it on for you and you can select the colors the Swiss army knife on top comes in this cardboard box you can pull it out and you even have an instruction in it the instruction um, on every language or on many languages at least and here also a guide how uh, how to uh, maintain your knife stock plates that do not move easily open and close a few times in warm water then dry in oil as you can see over here do not overlook tweezers and toothpick now that's the end of my uh, short comparison I know it was a very unfair co comparison because this one was like four times more expensive than this one but I just wanted to show up to you that it's important to have a very nice tool or maybe to spend a bit more on your tool uh, especially if you need it a lot um, and um, if you like quality this is the way to go and um, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this not very fair comparison.